بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الیکٹرو انرجی لا اسپیکٹروسکوپی دس از مائی ٹاپک ام ہوم اس ہاٹ مائی آئی ڈی 19005068002 ڈپارٹمنٹ بی ایس فزکس فرسٹلی انٹروڈکشن الیکٹرو انرجی لا اسپیکٹروسکوپی ای ایل ایس دا موسٹ ورسٹائل the most versatile technique which involves analysis of the energy distribution of the inelastically scattered electrons in the transmission beam. It is high sensitive non-destructive technique for the study of surface and adsorbed rate of vibrations. Low energy electronic excitations, the energy resolution of the present day spectrometers is as high as one meter electron volt. Number one history, James Hill Park, back in the mid-1940s, research 1990s, due to advancing microscope, instrumentations, and vacuum technology. This is a, a component of magnetic spectrometer. Firstly, source of electrons, and then the green color condenser lenses, and further specimen, and then ADF detector, and display screen, and ELS spectrometer. ELS magnetic spectroscopy discriminates the energy loss electrons on the basis of their absolute energy. The signal from the electron energy loss spectrometer can be used to generate an ELS spectrum. The spectrometer can be used to produce a compositional map. Now for the example, in this example, we use diamond, graphite, and fluorine. They are all consist of only carbon. In this specimen, absorption peaks around 24 electron volt in ELS corresponding to, to the existence of carbon atoms. From the fine structure of the absorption peak, the difference in bonding state and local electronic state can be detected. Electron energy loss spectroscopy, the ELS spectrum. In this ELS spectrum, there are three regions. Each region have arises due to different group of electrons or sample interactions. First region, first region called the zero loss region, and this is zero to 10 electron volt. And, and second region, 10 to 60 electron volt is the low loss region. And third region, the core loss region. Core loss region uh, uh, greater than 60 electron volt. And for the uh, ELS and interaction, zero loss, low loss, high loss, zero loss, elastically scattered electrons, low loss interactions with weakly bound outer shell electrons, high loss interactions with inner shell electrons causing excitation in an occupied shell above the Fermi level and resulting in characteristics. And for the zero loss peak, zero loss peak. Uh, the loss peak and for the low loss region and core loss region. What is zero loss peak? It is a main feature in ELS spectra of thin specimens originate from electrons that have lost no energy. Width of the zero loss peak is energy spread of the electron source. Less analytical information about the sample used to collaborate the energy scale. Phonons are lightest vibration which are equal to heating the specimen. This effect may lead to damage of the sample. No loss area. It reflects excitation of plasmons and interbat transitions. Uh, plasmons are long tutorial is oscillations of free electrons which decay either in photons. It is caused by weakly bonded. It depends on local density of the weakly bonded electrons. The typical lifetime of plasmons is about 10 to 15 seconds. There are two types of transitions, interband transition and interband transitions. Interband transition, the transition between the conduction and wireless bands, electrons and holes. Interband transition, the transition between the quantized levels within the conduction or wireless band. It is it known also as the inter subband transition. There is an example uh, diagram shown, Euler's region. The most important region of the ELS spectrum of the microanalysis. The signal in the core loss region is very weak relative to the zero loss and low loss regions. <clears throat> Therefore, the core loss region of the spectrum is often amplified 50 to 100 times. The quantification of ELS spec, uh, the quantification of ELS spectrum.
ALS spectrum divided into three steps. The first requires the removal of the background from beneath the incision of edges. The second, the integration of area within the edges. <clears throat> the third, the determination of composition from the integrated intensities. Qualitative EALS. The most frequent use of ELS is the qualitative determination of the composition of precipitates containing light elements. Metallurgical analysis typically necessitates differentiating among carbides, nitrides, and carbon nitrides. Comparison between ELS EDX as uh, ELS. Uh, High detection efficiency for low Z elements, high detection efficiency for high Z elements. Elemental and chemical information in EELS, EDX has high ele elemental information only. ELS excellent energy resolution 0.3 to 2 electron volt results in few peak overlaps. Low energy resolution uh, greater than 100 electron volts causes frequent overlaps in EDXs. Very inefficient in high sensitivity to most uh, elements in ELS. In EDXS, inefficient signal air collection and detection. Fast and efficient mapping technique in ELS. Fast technique complex processing required in ELS. In EDXS, X ray mapping is time consuming. Slow technique, only simple data processing required. Further applications. Thickness measurement and use for pressure measurement in analytical electron microscopy AEM. <clears throat> Advantages higher core loss signal, higher ultimate spatial resolution, absolute standard less quantification, structural information available. Disadvantages higher spectral background, very thin specimen needed, possible inaccuracy in crystals, more operator intensive. <clears throat> Limitations. A several limitations of ELS in space is the specimen thickness for aluminium. The usable thickness for ELS analysis is of the order of 10 to 20 nanometer. For heavier materials such as steel, the limiting thickness is even less. Thank you. This is all from off my side.